Of course, it's Valentine's Day, and for McLaren and Mercedes fans, that has meant all eyes on the unveiling of the cars they hope will be able to challenge Red Bull this season. After revealing its livery in January, McLaren finally took the wraps off its MCL38, which, in some respects, was a little underwhelming for a team that often likes to make an occasion of a launch. In this instance, however, there was minimal fuss, with the team making available only three images of its new car, so what can we expect? A quick rewind back to the end of last season saw McLaren finish the campaign with its MCL60, the second quickest behind the all-conquering Red Bull RB19. A few months on, and at first glance, the new McLaren does not appear to show us too much in the way of progress. Are certain areas being kept under wraps here? McLaren team boss Andrea Stella stated at the launch that there are a number of innovations on the car, albeit conceding that not all the areas the team wanted to address were completed for this launch spec, with those areas now the focus of in-season development. So what do we know? Well, taking a look at the front of the MCL38, we do see carryover from last year. The front wing certainly appears to be one of those areas mentioned by Stella yet to be addressed, or at least not from what has been shown. McLaren has logically opted to retain its pull rod front suspension. Alongside Red Bull, McLaren is the only team to have adopted such a system since the introduction of ground effect aerodynamic regulations in 2022. It is also noticeable from the front view that the air intakes of the side pods have increased in length, although have decreased in width, the opposite approach from what we have seen so far from McLaren's rivals. Switching to the side view, the side pods appear virtually unchanged. If you place a magnifying glass over them, however, you will notice they are slightly tighter and they descend slightly quicker toward the rear compared to last year's car. At the front of the side pods, there is a forward lower lip near the air intakes that now starts to disappear. This is striking because Red Bull introduced that idea, with McLaren and other teams following. Is McLaren now adopting a different approach? In addition, we see a deeper and slightly more sculpted undercut, the area between the side pods and the floor. Looking at the edge of the floor, McLaren appear to be fooling us. Details appear to be missing on this new car, so it is difficult to draw any conclusions. Moving further back, we again see no major changes. From the outside, the engine cover and the components underneath appear to have been similarly wrapped, although we do see a new positioning of the gills which serve to cool the components underneath that cover. Finally, we do see differences with the rear wing, in particular with the way it is attached to the car, including the system to control the DRS that has been slightly modified. This is an area where Red Bull has been able to extract considerable benefit. Can McLaren now close that gap? Overall, following the unveiling of the MCL38, it has become clear McLaren has yet to show its full hand. In fairness, the team was in the ascendancy at the end of last year, so you could argue that major changes, unlike Ferrari and Mercedes, were unnecessary. The key question now though, is just how quickly those areas so far not addressed, according to Stella, can be tackled, and will they be done so in time for the season opening Grand Prix in Bahrain on March the 2nd?